Uh, we used Blugger throughout, uh, so we had a place to record our findings, record what we were doing, what went well, what didn't go well, and we'd um, used Blogger for AS Media, so we knew how to use it quite easily, and it was quite easy to label posts, upload posts, and just keep track of what we were doing and what we needed to do, and uh, we could keep in contact with our teacher and other classmates by commenting on things that they obviously thought we'd done well or what they thought we could do to improve some things. Um, which helped us when we came to, uh, particularly in like the different drafts, that really helped. Yeah. Um, YouTube was a huge um, help throughout, like, throughout planning and research and construction as well as evaluation. Um, in research and planning, like every intertextual reference we got, um, yeah, was something that we found on that site, and it also um, allowed us to, you know, make, um, m make like more creative presentations of yeah. things we were like looking at and trying to work out how we were gonna take something from them to put into our video, um, and then in construction. Um, Obviously, each sort of draft went on YouTube, and uh, obviously YouTube's got comment section, likes and dislikes, so we could see whether uh, our target audience was responding to our drafts positively or not. And then finally, an evaluation. It's been a huge help. Um, you know, we put the video up on YouTube and. From that and also through social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, uh, yeah, Tumblr, stuff like that. through everything, um, mm -hmm. it's been like a, a main platform um, for our video, so it's really helped us and it's so easy to use as well, so it's been great. Um, fight with Final Cut, um, which we edited our video on, um, it was really <laughs> easy to use. Yeah, yeah. It. sort of, we learned all the basic skills again in AS. So we were just taking, taking it a bit further. Yeah, um, it also allowed us to be a bit more experimental, um, with Have more creative control. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, particularly with like different effects that we wanted to use and like filters and stuff. Um, like yeah. you said, we have like a basic knowledge, but it's really been good to experiment with. Um, and. We used Photoshop and Fireworks. Photoshop and Fireworks was something I, um, I'd i never used before. So obviously, first, I was like, okay, what's going on here? But then, um, it was I think it was better that I didn't sort of know what I was doing. Because it was just like experimenting what worked well, what didn't work well, what one button does how to use the uh, eraser tool text yeah it was um sort of vital for uh, did you pack yeah definitely and um particularly as we wanted a particular sort of style like we wanted this kind of gritty um i would say rustic but kind of just kind of desolate so rustic yeah um, so we really wanted that and Photoshop and Fireworks really um, allowed us to do that and to be creative with it and be a bit more daring with what we were trying to, what image we were trying to put across. Um, so we really enjoyed using it. Um, Prezi was something we used for our evaluation. So if you're watching this, you know Prezi. Um, we'd used Prezi for some coursework in AS and I um, done a lot of GCSEs with it so I I knew what I was doing with it so I thought it was just it's a good way to have what you want but a more creative more interesting thing like presentation of it 
Um, in the construction of our music video, um, we used Sony HD cameras and um, we'd used them the year before for AS, so we sort of knew what we were doing. Um, and it kind of, knowing what we already did, uh, gave us a lot of confidence that we could get certain angles that we wanted and we sort of gradually worked our way around knowing how to use the camera. Um, yeah. it, was, um, it was quite a big problem like because obviously it was a really big camera mm. and we sort of had to go and shoot in London in quite cold weather yeah. with this big camera and it it was just we never really used the camera on outside locations as much as we did for this video mm. So, obviously, learning how to use the camera in different conditions and um, using the camera effectively with the tripod, that, that was really... Yeah, it took some getting used to. Yeah. It, it took a lot of learning. Uh, throughout the um, construction, we used phones uh, and androids to evidence how we were, um, who was doing what, what angles we were using, and just keeping evidence yeah. that we were actually actually doing the music video ourselves. Yeah, and to work out who was doing what, it was a really good way to use like iPhones and Androids um, just to keep record really, so it was really useful. Uh, throughout research and planning we use the internet using browsers such as uh, Google Chrome and Firefox. Uh, we've done this to research other similar bands campaigns and how successful those campaigns were, why were they successful, how can we take the best parts of their campaigns and apply it to our own campaign. Mm. And um, to look at the sort of subculture that we were looking at and the size of it, um, we looked at some of the bands like Joe was saying, um, like All Time Low, uh, Room, 90, Room 94, stuff like that. We looked basically at all of their social networking sites and we looked at their um, fans and followers and we decided from there um, what our subculture, the subculture that we were um, was and uh, how we could appeal to their subculture because obviously we didn't have the actual bands we mm. had sort of new band yeah and so from all of that and so from all of that we worked out what so from all of that we worked out who our main target audience was um for the font on the Digipack and on the website, we used a site called The Font, and um, we used it looking at thriller stuff. We used it looking at thriller stuff in the, in the AS, so we sort of knew what it was and how we used it, and um, <laughs> and. We were um, we were pretty much in agreement with what kind of font we were looking for. Mm. So in the end, it was just um, trial and error as to which font fitted the cam the campaign best. Yeah, um, we wanted kind of like a almost scrawny like uh, my, my chemical font. romance yeah, with yeah. the uh, black parade. Yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, it was a really great site for that. Um, to gain audience feedback, we used a site called Survey Monkey, and um, we hadn't actually used it before, so it was a new thing for both of us. Um, but we found it was brilliant; like it had, it made um, surveying really, really easy, um, particularly as we hadn't done anything like it before, um, not using a site anyway. Um, and it was really easy to use, and we gained really good feedback um, from it. Yeah. And. Um, it really helped us to gain good feedback. Um, for the website construction, 
we used to cycle the wicks and uh, no one in our class had used wicks before so everyone sort of found it difficult sort of everyone was in the same boat and it was quite difficult but we persevered and we sort of mm. eventually got the hang of it yeah like once we'd um, started you know experimenting with it we realised it actually gave you a lot of choices and a lot of options and ways to do things and ways to present as well um, which was something at the start of the campaign we weren't too sure on how we were going to approach um, the website but um, it made it neither of us have any experience making yeah. a website or um, but it was actually a great way to discover our own creativity and a great way to uh, realise it and show it through technology.